Hi everyone, my name is Kim Walpole. I am co-founder and CEO of Trials AI, and we are a NextCube proud, NextCubed alum. And so I was invited tonight to give you an update. So mine will be a little shorter than uh, the ones that were previous, but hopefully it will get you interested and you'll wanna have a conversation later. So Trials AI, we are on a mission to get effective treatments to patients faster by optimizing clinical trial protocols for speed and success. Now, when most of us think about you know, clinical trials, we think, well, they fail because of an ineffective treatment. Well, that's true. But about half of those failures aren't actually due to an ineffectiveness of the treatment. They're actually due to flaws in the clinical trial protocol. It ends up costing trial sponsors on the order of billions of dollars every year. These are global trial sponsors. So we optimize clinical trial protocols by mining massive amounts of clinical trial related data sources so that we can give feedback and recommendations to researchers. The goal here is intelligent trial design. So researchers log into our SaaS platform. They use the system to search for answers to really difficult questions like how should they recruit or what should inclusion, exclusion criteria look like in their trial. And then they also are looking for recommendations so that they can make better decisions around generating their protocol. And then we really are building a smart protocol system so that you can develop your protocol from the ground up using our smart technology. So one of our core values is that we get it done. And as part of that, yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, so part of that is, um, number one, I get pretty excited about four things that we've been focusing on over the last year. One is we went to market, we tested our hypothesis, and we sold and garnered ARR by selling our end-to-end -end clinical trial platform, primarily to some of the smaller guys. And then we went upstream to try and sell to Big Pharma, and they were like, this is great, but we're really, really interested in the protocol optimization. That's where it's at. There's green field here. So we found that everything rises and falls on the protocol, and we made a bit of a pivot, and so we've been focusing on that protocol uh, generation, protocol optimization. <clears throat> we've also been developing our product. That's probably one of the, the most exciting outside of sales uh, for me is to see the product uh, begin to mature. So uh, we've got a patent pending uh, on our uh, patient burden index, so that's really exciting for us as well. Third, we have extended the team. And so we added uh, some developers on the team and we affectionately call them the meerkats because anytime I come back from a trip, they get really excited and they go from here to tell us all about it. And so we, we have jokes around calling them the meerkats. And then finally, this has all resulted in some pretty fantastic traction. Uh, we've increased our revenue. Uh, we have got, uh, just in the last couple of weeks, got a signed LOI from a pharma company, a global pharma company. And these deals that we're starting um, are averaging about uh, 500K ARR, and then we'll continue to scale from there. Uh, we also have a CRO proposal uh, out and that one is, I think it's about 650,000 uh, annual recurring as well. And then we've also are working uh, with two big pharma companies on POCs, and these are paid. Uh, when I talked to them, I said, look, it's all well and good that you want to check the new technology out, but we actually are a company that wants to grow and scale, so you're going to have to pay for that. And they said, okay. Uh, and then we have success metrics that are built into that. And so part of that is, hey, if this thing works the way that we said that it works, um, then you're going to commit to actually growing and scaling with us. And they said, you know, that's going to be a big win. We're going to save them on the order of millions of dollars. I've got a fantastic team, all with startup experience. I smile when I see these guys. Um, my background, actually, I worked for Big Pharma for 12 years on, on the consulting side. Um, 
Our chief scientist, Dr. David Fogel, is an award-winning scientist, AI pioneer. He's built AI technologies for the FDA and Big Pharma. Our CTO, Tom, started on the MD uh, track and ended up working at Scripps Research in his early years, only to find out he had a love for technology. So he transitioned into technology and has been uh, a technology leader for the past 15 years. He's built HIPAA-compliant, scalable systems, and we're really excited about that. And then finally, our other co-founder, uh, Mike Nicoletti, has a background in technology strategy implementation. And frankly, he's our numbers guy. So I always go to Mike when I want to talk numbers. And he says yes or no. And then I, you know, I, I push him there. Alrighty, so we have raised, we are currently have a round open uh, on a convertible note for $1.5 million. We've got 350,000 left on that note, so don't all rush <coughs> to the front to get in. Um, what that's gonna do is get us through these POCs that we've got going with Big Pharma, and that'll allow us to hire BD and sales folks. Uh, we are projecting about 2.5 million by the end of the year. And just for context there, that's probably about uh, anywhere from one to five of our customers closing. Uh, we'll continue obviously to, to uh, uh, develop the platform, and then we'll be raising our Series A towards the end of the year. So we look forward to uh, having additional conversations with those of you that are interested in joining us on our incredible journey. Thanks so much. Yeah.